Chow Chow Chow, Santa and Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Platinum Yes Lock. In the last episode, we took on Fantina and received our third gym badge. Then we went back to Eternia City and activated our secret key that allowed us to access the Rotom Room. I still actually haven't transferred my Rotom into a form yet because there is a straw poll. It is in the description. It is the first line of the description. Basically, it's going to have all five forms of Rotom um, in there. And basically, what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to vote. Team with the, uh, the Pokemon with the most votes has uh, the ability to... Uh, uh, will be what we turn Rotom into. So that is what we are planning to do with Rotom. Uh, I'm doing it via straw pug because obviously there are five there are five options and of course obviously Twitter only gives you four options to vote from so Twitter is out of the question for this because that's just weird for four options exist on Twitter not five so it is straw poll only please vote in the straw poll it is the first link in the description basically that's all you need to do click on the link click on your favorite road on form and vote you have a week it started last episode on sun uh, on the monday episode this is the wednesday episode now but please vote with that in mind i'm gonna start my timer now so today we're going to be going to the spooky house hiya uh you were intrigued by the rumors uh about going to this house too weren't you you know, uh, people have uh, talked about the ghost in the old chateau. I've been hearing rumours about uh, Sinister Shadows too. I should go and check it out for myself. But going in there is, well, you know, being that I'm the gym leader, I'm always busy. So since I'm so busy, I can't go in because, not because I'm scared. No, no, not because I'm scared. So, uh, good luck with your investigation. I'm out of here. Bye, Gardenia. Okay. Guess I'm going in by myself, then. There are a few items to the side here. Obviously, this still counts as the forest, so I cannot get a Pokemon, uh, you know, from outside, because it's still the forest. There's an old Amber here. I can activate that and turn it into a Pokemon. So that's a, uh, so that's something. Uh, but other than that, I can't do it. Uh, other than that, I can't really do anything else out here. We need to go inside to get a new encounter. So this is the old Chateau. What is my encounter for the old Chateau? It's a Volby. No, sorry, it's not a Volby. It's an Ionese. Alright, so Ionese, the Juliet Pokemon. Okay, cool. I will admit, I ran into a few trainer battles trying to get back up here. And, uh, you know, I may have gained level 31 on one of my Pokemon. But other than that, not very much happened. So that's that's fine, I guess. I don't know if I can hit you. That's my problem here because, you know, you're level 16. I'm level 29. I don't know whether I can hit you or not. I mean, I could always do the whole... I guess I could do the whole, you know... I don't need to do it. I was going to say I was going to go into Togekiss and go for the Spike Cannon since it's uh, the least, you know, uh, Togekiss is the, my mom has the least amount of attack power and of course also uh, is the last, you know, I'm going to call you Lovebug. Yeah, it's the one with the least amount of attack power, and that Spike Cannon is my least uh, powerful move. It does do decent damage, because it hit, guaranteed to hit two to five times. 
but um, you know, I could have had a swampert. That's not. That's not. Um, I mean, Bonsley would have been cool too. I found the poison barb. I will take. It's this room that has the secret item. I could have had a Breloom. I found TM-77 for Drill Pack. Good move. I could have had a Torchic. This is what this is not the room I need. I could have had a spirit tomb. Inside the TV, there appears to be a Pokemon. The Pokemon appears as it wants to come out the TV. Give the TV a thump. I will not be doing that to my TV. <laughs> I will not thump my TV. All right, what is this? It's Entei! Okay. Fury swipes, that's fine. Go to sleep, Entei. Okay. He has acid, which does hurt. Is there any way I could get this Pokemon? I wonder. I need to heal. Can I put you back to sleep? There we go. Right, now I don't know if I could probably hit him again. Ooh, can I hit him again? You. Spike Cannon. Do not hit him any more than four times. Stop hitting him, please. I hit him three times. He lives on one HP. I cannot hit him again. It's too early in the game for me to be, uh, you know, having things like balls that, uh, you know, would catch, sadly. So the most I can do is put him to sleep and hope that I can catch him. At this moment in time, he's in the red. I have balls. But it's too early in the game for anything beyond actual Pokeballs, sadly, so. Stranger things have happened in Pokemon games. So, there's really not much else I can do. Except for throw Pokeball. And hope for the best. I'll try a Premier Ball, because he's a Premier Pokemon. Nope. I have nine Pokeballs left. Oh, that acid is scaring me. If I have potions, I am fine. I will use potions if necessary. Eight Pokeballs left. Okay, that acid is scaring me. 
Please stop using acid. Okay, I'm back to full health. I am running out of dark voids, I will admit. I have one dark void left. I have six Pokeballs. No, he hasn't bounced more than once. Two. Lantern Joe. Oh, 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 I kind of thought I had him for a sec. Three Pokeballs left. It's a four hit. That's the last Dark Void I have. I can't put this thing to sleep again if it wakes up. I need to heal. That is one of the things I definitely need to do. Uh, I have two Pokeballs left. I'm going to have to... I might have to kill this thing. I mean, at least I'm going to get experience. Last ball. One. Two. Lantern Joe. Last ball! <laughs> Last ball! Ente is mine! I gotta call this after my uh, brother's dog. Uh, so my brother has a dog called Barley. He is like really beautiful. Uh, uh, but he, he is uh, he's only like two years old, but he's huge. He's people size. That's basically how big this dog this dog is. He is people size. He is. He won't hurt you, but he is, like, he... I'm terrified of that dog. I am literally terrified of it because, it, you know, it is people size. The most it'll do is lick you to death. <laughs> That's literally what it'll do. He is, that dog is a licker. But he's a really cool dog. I really love, I really love Barley, so I want to call my Ente after that. But, like, that was clutch. I found a dive ball. Okay, I'm gonna have to start collecting all my Pokeballs again. There's a Cacleon in here too. I want to go and see what's the other side. There's a Gardevoir! And I got an, an Iwanese. There's the, this the last item in here. It's a Black Belt. All right, cool. There's a Sableye in here too. So there is a ghost. At least that's a thing. In the spooky place, there is one ghost. But I got what I wanted out here. So let's continue on our adventures. Let's head back to Heart Home City. Actually, before we do that, let's go and take a look at my... Let's go and take a love bug. Let's go and take a look at love bug. Let's go and take a look at my Entei. I want to know what ability it got. So, first off, we got love bug here. Let's take a look at love bug. Love bug is an Uniwanese. Careful nature. Guts for the ability. Icicle spear. Rock polish. Powdered snow. And a uh, power swap. Then we have Barley here. Level 20. Uh, poison barb holding. Uh, wow. 
No wonder he did more damage with acid. He had a poison barb. Acid, uh, fury swipes, knock off and constrict. Minus three ability with a bashful nature. So there we go. Uh, Rotom is technically, uh, by this game's standards, technically considered a legendary. That is why you will find a legendary Pokemon where you find Rotom. Because technically, Rotom is considered a legendary by the, this game's standards. That gets rectified in future generations to say that Rotom is just a normal Pokemon. I have randomized it to normal to normal, legendary to legendary, so... We were guaranteed to get a legendary of some kind. I didn't know I was going to catch it on my last Pokeball. But that is so, so clutch. Honestly, the amount of clutchness that is, is off the scale. There's an item back here, if I remember correctly. Uh, but it's an X special. There are a few trainer fights here. There's one up here if you go by rock climb. There's one if uh, you know how to surf as well. Sadly, I don't know how to do any of those things. So, cannot fight any of those uh, trainers. Healing Wish. I don't want to learn this, but I will. Because... That's how this game works. I kind of have to. I'll get rid of Mega Punch. I will never use that move. If I use that move, well, I just lost Rocket. So, I will never use that move. This is the Molt Shop, isn't it? And this is where I, this would have another load of random items. You give me a berry every day. Oh. I guess you still have mulch. Yeah, you still have mulch. Oh. I just bought... I just b bought some mulch too, and I just got the Berry Searcher app. I'm not interested in mulch, thank you very much, game. But I got my Rotom Encounter, that's really cool. I'm going to have to go and get some more Pokeballs, because just uh, just in case we're able to get out of this rival fight, when we're able to get... Oh, finally I can buy Great Balls! Buy your Pokeballs in the form of 10. That way you can, you know, that way you always get a Premier Ball. You get Premier Balls if you buy 10 Pokeballs. But of course, if you buy them in forms of 10, you'll get the Premier Ball. So always remember to buy your Pokeballs in forms of 10. Because you won't get the Pokeball if you don't do it like that. Right, time to face the rival. Ta-da! You kept me waiting, Joanne, uh, for about an episode or so. Uh, let's uh, let's see how tougher we have got together. You and my Pokemon, right here, right now. If you're a trainer, you should be expected to be ready for a battle. No whining, no waiting. Let's get it started. All right, let's do this. Starts with a Brava. Does he have a full team of six? No, he has a full. He has a team of five. Okay. I don't really know what to do against the Brava. I have nothing against this. Fain attacks. Does decent damage. Bone club. No, that's gonna hurt. He got a crit!
I'm faster. I'm faster. I'm faster. And it's not. Bone Club only hits once. I lived. Rockhead lives. Okay. Rockhead lives. I don't know how. Don't ask me how. But Rockhead lives. And I'm so glad about that. He has a Volbeat as well. I got a crit. I got a crit. Sadly, my Rock Afro is disabled now, but Spike Cannon is the thing I will use now. And hopefully that should... Oh, and he hit twice. Oh, one more hit would have killed. There we go. Volbeat down. Jaws gained some experience because I still haven't taken the experience shelf Jaws yet. I probably should do I probably should do that. We're going to Days to take on this uh weekly tough because we have Rock Smash on Days. So we can handle that. Unless he has a super effective fighting type move too. He just Oh wait, no he won't he won't have that because this is a stone evo. He doesn't learn moves. And they're not smart enough to teach their Pokemon TMs. Obviously now I have to uh, stop spamming Rock Smash because, well, he told me to stop spamming Rock Smash. Uh, because of the torment. I'm fine though. I got paralyzed. I probably still can't. I probably still need to actually use another move. Oh, I would love to have hit... I would love to hit you one more time, but because I'm paralyzed, I can't hit you one more time. I need to uh, heal. Dragon Pulse is scary. Oh, wait, I can't use the same move twice because of Torment. Fine. I will use Rock Smash, but I hope I actually hit the Rock Smash. Otherwise, I'm going to have to heal. Level s I'm on 17 health. Okay, thank you, Days. This is kind of... This has been kind of scary. Uh, don't we really have anything that deals with uh, this? I'm going to go into Charmeleon Tempo. See if I can do anything with Tempo. Um, I'll go for the Earth Power. Let's see if that works out rather nicely for me. Does decent damage. That was your special defense. Mood Shot. That's super effective. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. My speed fell, but that's fine. Hyperfang. Yay! That does a lot of damage. But the Thunderbolt does kill the um, Mighty Anna, so that's nice. And a Nose Pass is your final Pokemon. Bloom. Come on out here and finish this. We might even be able to get an encounter for the next route before the end... Well, get into our encounter for the next route before the end of today's episode. I will let you know that I'm going straight into this fight without, you know, healing or anything. Oh, you have Aerial Ace! Little scary. But another Magical Leaf should kill. So I'm fine. There we go. We beat chips. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? Yeah, I'm telling you I, you lost. Well, well, there goes my short fire win to uh, my short fire strategy doesn't work. Say, uh, hey Joanne, 
Do you remember that strategy I told you? Make sure all your Pokemon's attacks hit. Avoid enemy attacks. Well, it's a wicked strategy, but it's not worth a lot of beans. I guess I'm going to have to grind it out and toughen up my team a bit. Anyways, I'm off to Salacion Town. See you, Joanne. You'll be shocked by my growth uh, of my team next time we meet. I'm sure I will be. I want to get my encounter for the next route, but I really need to heal my mons. So we're going to do that. We're going to heal my mons and we're going to get my encounter as well. Like we're getting this encounter. I have decided we're getting this encounter. Okay. There's 57 seconds left of this episode on the timer, but we are getting this encounter. My encounter is... I wish I'd skipped it. <laughs> it's a Goldeen. It's level 19. Level 19 Goldeen. Um, I'll throw a dive ball off the top. Uh, you are a Pokemon that likes to see. We're not in the sea, but you are a Pokemon that likes to see. You like the Pokeball. Oh, the Poke... Because you are a Pokemon that likes to see. There we go. We have Goldeen. Cool. Um, don't ring. I'm going to call you... Uh, that's time. I know. I know. Susie! I think that's how you spell it. Anyway. Uh, let's... Let's see what else. We could have had a Torterra! I would have loved a Torterra! I love Torterra! Torterra's amazing! I got a Goldeen. Well, let's go and take a look at my Goldeen before I end off today's episode. It's only fair. We looked at the Entei. We looked at Lovebug, so it's only fair I look at the Goldeen as well. Because we didn't actually get to fight the Goldeen, we just threw a pokey we just threw a dive ball and that was the end of the story. So let's see what we got. Timid nature loves sweet food. Uh, liquid ooze for the ability. Spark, calm mind, glare, sweet scent. It is holding TM70, so I guess we'll get that off him as well. So let's go and see what TM70 is. TM70 is... It's Sandstorm. And uh, also TM65 uh, we got uh, from Fantina. And someone can... Uh, uh, Tempo can learn it. I wouldn't... Honestly... I'm going to get rid of uh, Feather Dance for that. There we go. Muddy Water. It gives me a water type move finally. Other than that, uh, nothing amazing. Can anyone learn Drill Pack? Uh, Eggy can. But to tell you the truth, I kind of want Eggy to learn this because Eggy's not going to learn any other moves. So I'm going to get rid of Smoke Screen for this. Because Eggy is a Stone Evo, Eggy won't learn moves. So we have to find, t you know, TMs that he's capable of learning in order to... Uh, give him a decent chance, a uh, decent move set. So, whether it works or not, I don't know. But we'll honestly see. Anyway, we're going to end off today's episode here. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Join us next time, where we will continue on towards Santa... Uh, wait, is it now? Santa Loon City? No, no, no. We're going to... 
Salation Town. That's where we're going. Salation Town. On our way to Veilstone City, where the next gym takes place. That is where we were going. Anyway, until next time, I am Lantern Joe. Mean to the Pokemon get to Laza. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me and the rest of the Lantern Nation. You can also check out these two videos in the top right and top left hand corner. And don't forget to check out Power Zone Metal. It's a weekly radio show where you can listen to heavy metal music and so much more. You can find out more information about that at powerzonemetal.uk. But until next time, I am Lantern Joe, and I will see you next time.